So uh, my boy Craig, he hit a rough spot in his life. Uh, couldn't really pay his rent for a little bit. Ended up getting evicted. Like, why are you turning the lights off? And I was just like, dude, like, cause you didn't pay the electric bill. But I was like, I was like, brother, please. The uh, Benjamin Franklin, when he invented electricity, it was free. There were no AT and T for Benjamin Franklin. So I just want to live like my ancestors did. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that to live like Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. So uh, told him he could come chill at my place. So I came and lived with Kevin, and it's been great. It's been really fun. Uh, so far everything has been great. You know, Craig cleans up after himself. <laughs> he uh, helps out with the yard work. He does a little bit of cooking. I like to make special brownies like we made this one time when I was at this clinic, but no one was supposed to know we were at this clinic because it was like a secret clinic, but we had some problems and we talked in circles. Craig, did you do your laundry? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, everyone thought I was crazy for taking Craig in for a little bit, but I mean, we've been friends since I got the first hair on my balls. So I was evicted from my home, like I had said earlier, and I went to go live with my buddy Danny Cause, but um, things didn't work out that well. Eviction, you know, eviction's a terrible thing. You know, it's, it's terrible. You know, my, my boy Craig got kicked out, so I invited him to come live with me for a little while. You know, you, you see this right here? You see that? Bitch was making Pop-Tarts. See, I can't, I can't really take responsibility for the Pop-Tarts. See, I, I try to warn Kevin, I try to tell him. You know, you see this right here? You see this? One day I come downstairs, bitches making waffles with these. Making waffles. This is oil-free acne wash. Because the way I figure is it takes like two minutes to wash your face and like uh, three minutes to like eat waffles. So I had this great idea one day. It was like, instead of syrup, what if I use acne wash on the waffles so I'd like get a full tummy and have clean pores? The only thing I ask of him is that he pays half the rent for every month and, uh, Otherwise, everything should be great. So, I've been living here for two weeks now, and I'm going to say it's been alright. I mean, there have been some times where it's been rough, but for the most part, it's been okay. This is not going at all how I had planned. I can't stand him. I don't know how Danny put up with him. Like, I don't want him in my house at all. First of all, when Kevin says I walk around naked, I don't walk around naked. It's not just he, ju he just goes to sleep naked. Like, I come out, he's making breakfast. Naked. Oh, dude, what are you reading? Okay, I walk around naked. But, not all the time. Nice, dog. Nice. You want orange juice? No. But Danny didn't have a problem with me walking around naked. What's up, Dan? One morning, I go to leave the house to get in my car, and the driveway's empty. Where is my car? So then I start looking around to see where the hell Craig is to see if he took my car. He's in the backyard in a jacuzzi. What's up, buddy? We didn't own a jacuzzi. Where the hell is my car? And when the hell did we get a jacuzzi? Yeah, a jacuzzi yesterday. Last night they brought it. Where's my car? Alright, so listen. Kevin drives this piece of shit car, alright? So I was like, what am I going to use while he's gone? Oh, yeah, see, I couldn't pay for it because of my new business. You know, I'm trying to upstart my business. So I had to just, you know, swap your car. Bam. Jacuzzi, you know what I'm saying? How am I supposed to get to work? Dude, you can't get no ass for that crappy car. Look at the, We got a jacuzzi, bro. Jacuzzi. Bubbles. I need to go to work. I'll drive you. In what? We don't have a car. Who cares when you're in a jacuzzi? Oh, wait, you ain't. That sucks. Then he just stopped paying rent. Like, I asked him for rent the other week, and he tells me he needs it to start his business. So I ask him what his business is about, and he just starts rambling on, and it had nothing to do with business. I'm between jobs right now. Um, before I was the head chef at a famous restaurant, 
Um, also known as McDonald's on 37. Damn, remote don't work. Craig, what? You're late on your rent. I'll get it to you next week. You said that last week. I'm sorry, dude. It's just I'm trying to pump. I'm trying. You know me. I've been having a dream to run this business forever. So I'm trying to pump money what into business? the business. You know, to, to my business that I've been trying to do for a long time. Company. Yeah, right? that's what. I'm big overseas. Yeah. You know, dude, it's such a valuable. I mean, I just. I just got promoted and shit. You don't even, your company doesn't, you don't even have a company. One day I had to watch my niece. So I go upstairs to take a shower. I come downstairs ten minutes later. Craig's on the couch where they're watching TV. And they're just not watching any TV. Adult entertainment. I was just like, yo, what's up? You want to watch a dirty movie? My niece is eight. And she didn't really know exactly what that meant at first. And then I popped it in and she got a little scared. And I was like, this isn't, this is nothing wrong. This is beautiful. This is a thing of life. And like, every morning, I'll be sitting there eating my cereal, and he'll just come downstairs and start grabbing his junk. Like, repeatedly. Like he's in a Michael Jackson video or something. What's up, man? Apple Jacks. I like those. <laughs> Apple Jacks. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about Apple Jacks. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. See that, uh, that... That spoon. No, dude, I'm eating. Come on, dude, let me see your spoon. I don't know. Ever since I've been born, I've always touched my package. It's like an involuntary movement, like blinking. So, it's been two months, and, you know, we had to have this talk. Craig, we need to talk. Basically, I thought that'd be best for us, because I thought we needed to say some things, too. Yeah, Kev, I think we need to talk. Oh, so you agree? Yeah, we need to talk. Well... Do you have something to say? Look, dude, I know that this hasn't been the best of times. I know that. But I think it'd be best if you just moved out. What? Yeah, I just think it'd be this best. This is my house! Well, it's just not working out. So I told him that he should leave. Because I was obviously doing more work around the house than he was. And he got all defensive. I was like, why are you so defensive? He got, I know why you're so defensive. I was like, why? I was like, this is ridiculous. You need to go. This is outrageous. Outrageous, Kevin? Is Jesus outrageous? The power of Christ compels you. What?